Hi, in this video, I would like to share my YouTube Looker Studio report template and how to use it. Uh, but before going to the template, let's uh, ask one important question. Uh, why default YouTube Studio Analytics is not enough? Uh, because YouTube has a great analytics feature yeah, in, in the studio and there are many useful information and especially in advanced mode you can uh, build different charts uh, you have great tables uh, you can sort by different parameters all your videos and so on and why do we need the template looker studio so i found uh, that there are two important things that looker studio template give the first one we can uh, add to the one template both uh, video from the YouTube organic yeah uh, all your organics um, videos and all YouTube ads uh, you, that you run in the Google ads uh, for vi your videos you can get in one template all this data yeah and you can get this data in the YouTube uh, studio by default you should uh, navigate in between Google ads interface and YouTube studio yeah and the second important thing is that it's important especially for agencies if you have more than one account it's much easier to uh, have the template where you can uh, switch the accounts uh, or even like build a, temp a, speci a specific template for all the accounts you have and you can uh, like research the stats for all accounts much quick, uh, quicker so yeah these two reasons uh, uh, worth, worth it to create the specific Looker Studio template. And let's dive in into um, my template. It consists of two pages. The first one is YouTube Organic, uh, where you can choose your channel and um, uh, view the stats. Um, what's important is that uh, YouTube does not give the, in his connector in Looker Studio, does not have the option to filter the data by title and it's sad uh, but I don't find the, um, how to fix that so we can use um, YouTube only with uh, video links yeah to change maybe the reason because uh, you can change titles very often and um, but URL still the same uh, uh, from the start yeah and as you change titles often YouTube can't uh, you can get data by different titles of the same video so yeah here you see the like the main metrics of your channel and here you see the the graph uh, you also uh, can find it here yeah Sim something similar that advanced uh, mode of the youtube studio has and what's important you also have the simple table with uh, the most important metrics for every video and let's check if we have something like here. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting that I don't, I can't find the. Mm, yeah, I can change the type of tables, and I will see different things here. But I can't uh, see in one table all important metrics for all videos. Yeah, so it's also like we also can create some total watch time for every video. I, I don't find it in the table in YouTube studio and you have also the pivot table where you can uh, scroll and in very easy way to understand when there are some rises for when some of your video rises and how much uh, uh, video views you get yeah so this is the first page and the second one is the uh, YouTube uh, video ads so it's something that you run ads for your videos in google ads you also can uh, change your google ads account uh, here you all you already can uh, sort videos by video title and yeah in this table you have important metrics from google ads like impressions video views video view rate all metrics google ads have uh, we can uh, import here to looker studio yeah and uh, yeah so it's very short but uh, very enriching for all the existing analytics inside Google Ads and YouTube uh, Studio. That's all.